nearly 300 kilometers made on my bike with those two uh, devices on board Mio Cyclo 200 and Cyclo 505 HC and also way over 1500 kilometers driven in my car navigating with those two so I think I have quite a knowledge about those two uh, so let me tell you what was the test like long distance testing uh, of Mio Cyclo navigations. Uh, before I switch those uh, on I already showed you on my uh, unboxing or the uh, features overview um, episode that uh, the screen of Cyclo 200 is brighter. You can see the difference between, between those screens. Um, this one is very bright now when it's off. This one is like dark green or brown something like that. So there must be different kind of screen and if you switch those on you will see me hi and my my um, lighting here uh, you will see that cyclo 200 is really brighter now there is no problem um, reading from those screens even in the full strong sun but i would say especially during cloudy weather cyclo 200 does make the job easier even though it's like way way cheaper twice cheaper than cyclo 505 hc you will have the links below the video to those uh, two uh, devices all right let's start with some uh, advantages um, two biggest advantages for those uh, devices both is the software how easy how intuitive how quick it is to find features change them uh, reset uh, put different uh, I don't know modes or anything you would like to on these uh, these are touch screen with only one uh, button here uh, that is for exiting for exit and for uh, switching on and off uh, those uh, those devices um, so it, it is really quick you don't need a manual to find everything you would like to so it's also way um, easier than my Garmin 520 for example uh, which I also love uh, so much uh, but that's the advantage for sure the second one is the navigation the actual navigation I absolutely love it and it crushed my Garmin 520 once more uh, Garmin seem to be like um, quite often like 10, 15, 30 meters behind those two so if, if you hit like a crossroad you will see on those that you have to turn uh, and most in most of the cases Garmin would be just uh, behind so navigating with these two is cool I also went from Poland to Germany it was around 900 kilometers uh, for the Eurobike navigating with these two devices and I loved it absolutely I uh, love it, it worked so well. Now there is one thing or two you should be aware of uh, when purchasing these also as your car navigation. Um, those devices can only find your route uh, within 200 kilometers. So when I was going from like ni for 900 kilometers um, route I would have to find like four or five different cities I would, I would like to go through. So that's one of the things. Um, also, if it finds the route, uh, it doesn't give you like on the Google Maps uh, different choices, you have just one. So anyway, uh, you would probably like to find your own, the best one, and then you put uh, those, those cities, those points you want to go through anyway, like any, let's say 200 kilometers. So that's not a big issue, but there is, there is this some kind of limitation for those two devices. The other one is that uh, it has um, uh, some maps already, th those two, uh, and maps of uh, Mio Cyclo are very cool in my opinion, but if you're using a road bike, I've showed you that on the surprise me um, um, option, this one here, uh, I would say it's not the best one for a racing bike, even though if I'm in the racing bike, mode uh, excluding any forest uh, tracks and, and so on I still would end up sometimes in the forest so it will, it will depend on the uh, area you live in and the map that, that there is available uh, for your area but still uh, you have to be aware for gravel bikes cyclocross mountain bikes uh, this navigation will be awesome because it, because it will really find the, the, the best way or the shortest way if you want to even through some uh, forest. And then one, one thing that is lacking is the lap uh, option. So if we are uh, during our training mode, 
we really want to like start now we are just going somewhere and we need a lap button in order to do intervals in order to do laps actual laps uh, on the race there is no such thing on those two i would understand that for cyclo 200 which is more like for amateur recreational riders but this one is really professional and it doesn't have that option uh, so uh, we are hoping to get uh, some update of the software for this option disadvantages that's the price of uh, those two you can see the pricing below the video in those links um, so uh, it's comparable to Garmin and, and other um, devices that are made for sport for training for cycling but still it would be nice to have those two uh, cheaper uh, another disadvantage of Cyclo 505 is actually the touch screen because it's so easy for 200 uh, and here for 505 I would sometimes think I already tapped it but it didn't work so you have to uh, use more force on 505 perhaps in the gloves that would be the better option but uh, uh, 200 is way easier to to tap and actually get into some you can see all right into some uh, features so I would say the touch screen is better on Cyclo 200 which is way cheaper uh, and another disadvantage of both but once more I would especially like to have it on Cyclo 505 is that we have only one mount different profiles different kind of bikes uh, so many features and only one mount uh, it's I don't accept this and I hope uh, that Mio will uh, put there uh, at least two because how much it would cost the company to make this piece of plastic for this price it should be really there only thing we get um, is that we have those like spacers padding for the um, to use just all right to put it on the handlebar so for different shape uh, shapes of your stem or handlebar you have two uh, different uh, sizes or thicknesses uh, but there's only one mount and it's really really uh, too little now uh, on the Mio HC we have the heart rate monitor uh, this strap uh, is really cool it's very thin uh, it's really flexible so it doesn't bother you when, uh, when training and here you have the speed and cadence sensor you just put it on the chain stays in the rear uh, this one uh, will measure the speed from your spokes this one will uh, measure uh, the uh, cadence from the crank arm and it's super easy uh, connecting sensor to this device is really quick easy simple awesome uh, I like it so much very cool feature on the Mio uh, 505 is the Wi-Fi so you get home and you just connect your device without turning on your computer all these data or your live Strava Strava live segments just go uh, and upload automatically without your computer it's really cool you can even uh, connect it to your phone if you have like Wi-Fi internet on your phone that would be really cool to have it e even uh, before you hit uh, your uh, your home and <laughs> before you get to your home so that's really nice and uh, that would be basically it uh, some of you have been asking me why not just use a smartphone with some uh, ANT plus and Bluetooth options and just have it so much cheaper I would say I kind of agree with you and I think also that this is the future because uh, think about it Th this 505 uh, device has uh, Wi-Fi it will connect to my phone showing me my like messages it will show me when someone is uh, calling me why not having here sim card uh, slot and use it also as a phone so i'm just wondering who will be the first uh, those who produce uh, bike computers or those who produce um, smartphones will do something that really is strong durable and will fit to our bike and we cyclists will have something really like design stylish and use it this i would really use this one as my um, mobile phone it would mobile mobile phone sorry it would be so uh, awesome so guys once more the software is awesome navigation is awesome you can use it as your uh, car navigation no problem but within 200 kilometers uh, remember about that uh, now um, 
pricey, that's the disadvantage. Uh, only one mount, that's the disadvantage. And I would say that touchscreen is even better, easier to use on the uh, Cyclo 200. Now there is one new thing uh, for Mayo, or Mio, that's the handlebar mount and that's the long one. Instead of using this one, you can now purchase this one, which once more is quite pricey. Uh, but this is the Aero one. It's longer than Garmin and I prefer longer one uh, because you see it better when, when being off the saddle and also uh, training on the turbo trainer uh, does keep it away from the sweat from our uh, forehead. That's a really cool feature. This one has been, wind uh, has been wind tunnel tested and saves uh, over 8 seconds per 40 kilometers. That's what they say. Now it's only for the 31.8 or 35 millimeters handlebars like this one. So 25.4 for example on my killer does not work. Garmin has just different um, like spacers underneath so that you can use it for different uh, handlebars. Here I would have to cut like uh, the inner tube and do it myself. Um, me also say that this one, um, uh, it was actually collaboration with Barfly, is 20 times stronger than uh, those of competitors. I think it looks like a kind of polymer with um, the fiberglass, like fiberglass uh, reinforced polymer. It's cool, nice looking and it fits all the uh, Mio Cyclo uh, devices really really nicely. That's it guys, I really wanted in all those episodes about Mio, Mio Cyclo to show you just anything you as a buyers would need uh, to know. Uh, let me know if you have any further questions and it was really nice journey with those uh, two navigations. Once, uh, one, one more thing, I also found some car mount, really cool car mount uh, for this one. This one also has the uh, car mode. It would be really nice to have this car mount just with the package that would come with the package with perhaps some additional info like car uh, mount included with the car mode. Would be, I think it would be even more encouraging for people to buy it at this pri price point. That's it. Thank you for your, <laughs> for your thumbs up, for your support of this channel and I will see you soon. Bye bye.